بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay the next thing we'll talk about voice vlan so we have already covered some of the basics of the voice vlan so voice vlan is generally used for sending a vip traffic because we'll be using a separate vlan separate vlan for vip traffic and there will be a separate vlan for data traffic so the previous vlans whatever we created they come under data vlan and the vlan which we are going to create here will be a voice vlan also called as auxiliary vlan and of course there are two ways to connect as i said you can connect a separate port a utp cable with an rj45 connector or you can have an inbuilt uh, switch generally where you can connect uh, both the ports one port goes to the switch and other side goes to the uh, goes to the pc so two ways so we'll be seeing both the ways the configuration so of course vivo ip traffic we cannot test and verify because there is a lot of configuration you need to do apart from assigning the ports but as a normal basic engineer who is configuring some voice vlans you need to know the basic configuration of uh, voice vlans how they are configured or how they are assigned uh, to the ports so to verify this voice vlan configuration i'll be using a simple topology here with a pc like here you can see this pc port number 1 so i'll be using two vlans vlan 10 and vlan 50 So VLAN 10 will be acting as my data VLAN. You can say any accounts department, any department you can give, and I can say VLAN 50. Maybe I'm saying this is a voice VLAN, voice VLAN for accounts, let's say, basically, or any other department. So 10 and 50, and we'll be assigning the ports. Like port number one will be a member of VLAN 10 because it's a data connecting to computer, and port number three will be a member of VLAN 50 because this is connecting to VIP IP phone, IP phone. but at the end if you see this port number 3 port number 3 connects to an ip phone as well as the pc which means this port will be a member of vlan 10 as well as a member of vlan 50 both the vlans of course port number 10 uh, vlan 10 is for data and vlan 50 is for the voice so the configuration is still the same so creating the vlans is not different so i'm i'm just using a uh, same commands here because the way you create the vlans is still the same whether it is a voice vlan or data vlan or management vlan so vlan 10 name data you can give any name uh, vlan 50 name voice i'm i'm just using for easy differentiation next thing we need to assign the ports like port number 1 we need to assign to uh, vlan 10 right so the same commands interface s0 by 1 switch port mode access and then we have to say switch port access vlan 10 so this is a data vlan so we have already seen the configuration for our normal data vlans how to assign the ports so if you go and check the port number 2 now here actually this is port number 2 so in the diagram this is not 3 uh, actually this is 2 port number 2 now if i go to port number 2 uh, we say switch port mode access the same command but if you want to assign the voice vlan so we should give a different command than this so if i say switch port access vlan 10 this is nothing but we are assigning a data vlan but when i say switch port voice vlan 50 now if i give access it means a data vlan if i say switch port voice vlan 50 means i'm saying this port is going to carry is a member of voice vlan and this port is going to carry the vvip traffic also So this is a difference between the voice and the data vlan configuration here. Now similar way let's say a uh, port number 3 so this is port number 2 we have configured just now and this is port number 3 now the port number 3 is a member of both the vlans so we'll be assigning both the commands here so we'll say switch port mode access and then we'll say switch port access vlan 10 which means this particular port is a member of vlan uh, 10 which is a data vlan and then i am saying this port is also a member of voice vlan which is vlan 50 so normally if you configure these two commands on a single port you need to understand that this particular port is connecting to ip phone as well as your computers computer laptops any any normal uh, end user devices so the configuration is simple but again this configuration is not sufficient for ip phones to work obviously you have plenty of other configurations to do on the switches as well as the routers 
for IP VoIP traffic to support. So that is something beyond the scope of these exams. So we're not going to see that, but basically you need to know that uh, how to create a voice VLAN or basically creating a VLAN is the same thing. How to assign the ports into a VoIP VLAN. So if you verify show VLAN command, you can see port number three is showing in both the VLANs. One is used for data, one is used for voice. So I use the names data and voice just for easy differentiation, but normally uh, it can be any name. Okay, so let's let's see the configuration here. If you go back to the topology here, you can see I'm using the same topology, port number one, two, three. So in my case, the port number one, if you verify show VLAN brief, you can see VLAN 1 is the default VLAN which is present. So I'm going to create a VLAN 10. I'm going to say data VLAN, that's it. And then VLAN 50 name, I'm going to say voice VLAN. That's it. Any name you can type in. So first create the VLANs as we did. And then I'm going to assign port number 1. So this port number 1 should be a member of VLAN 10. This should be a member of VLAN 50. And this should be a member of VLAN 10 and 50, right? Port number three. If I go and say switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10. So the data VLAN is assigning the same way as we did previously. If I go to port number two, port number two is a voice VLAN. So the first command is switch port mode access and then switch port voice VLAN 50. And port number three, port number three is a member of both. So the first command is switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10, and then switch port voice VLAN 50. So if you verify show VLAN brief, now you can see the configuration wise, uh, port number three is a member of both the VLANs because that port is connecting to both the PC and the computer. So if you're doing the physical connectivity, let's say, if you just want to get an idea how from where you can track this uh, PCs, PCs we know already how to track. So basically here in the end devices, you'll find a phone also. You can see that it's a phone here. If you say, select this pieces here, you can just drag and drop this IP phones from here. And you can use this default cable or generally you can use a straight cable or the default cable to connect uh, this like this. This is how you generally connect. It will be the same cable normally. If you want to connect a computer also, let's say in case you can simply use this default cable to do the connectivity from an IP phone to this one. So basically connecting is uh, the same way, but generally we use the same straight cables to connect. So again, you don't need to specifically select the ports here. Okay, so if you want to be specific, like you can use a straight cable here, straight cable from, and it will show you the port as switch or PC. Generally, that's how it's going to be. So we're not getting into these details, but generally you will have this uh, switch here. So basically you have this uh, three ports here. You can see one is connecting to PC, the switch and the internal line, telephone line, uh, internal uh, telephone line, basically. And again, the voice VLAN, uh, voice VLAN feature is by default disabled. Uh, we need to enable that on the access ports. That's what we use the command called switch port, uh, so like this command. When we say switch port act voice VLAN, that's going to enable that come enable uh, voice VLAN on that particular ports. Okay, so voice VLAN should be present and active, which means we need to make sure that when I'm assigning the ports uh, in the voice VLAN, basically you have you have to make sure that VLAN should be present inside the VLAN database. Now this is again a part of troubleshooting. Generally, whenever you try to verify uh, when you are assigning the ports in any specific VLAN, make sure that VLAN is also present inside the database. We can use that command called show VLAN to verify that options. Of course, there is a feature called port fast uh, is automatically enabled. Uh, we'll see what is port fast in the advanced features generally. Port fast is like generally used in a spanning tree where you can make the port to turn to forwarding immediately, but uh, we'll, we'll see that in the spanning tree options.